welcome. Please make yourself at home. I've tried my best to make this a comfortable and homely environment for me and my children. Yes, I have many children. The Lumas are very important to me, as I am to them. Forgive me, I have not introduced myself. I am Rosalina. My duty is to watch over and protect the cosmos. Welcome to the Comet Observatory. What do you think? I am glad you like it. The view in particular is wonderful, don't you think? When we travel in my ship, we reach speeds close to the speed of light. I do have many abilities, with help from my Lumes, of course. It is rather nice to travel across galaxies at will, although both me and the Lumes do not really have a home anymore. We must be each other's family. As you can see. Do you know much about Lumas? They are spectacular creatures and can transform into almost anything, from a small object to a whole galaxy if they wish. In fact, let me let you in on a secret. Me and my Lumas have a game of sorts, a mission to help pass the time. When it comes time for some of my children to transform and go off on their own, I wave them off with a warm smile and love in my heart, despite how it saddens me. To make the parting easier, we arrange certain constellations, so that I may remember them and identify them. We often arrange constellations in the shapes of things we have observed or stories we've heard on our travels. Would you like to hear more? Hmm, well, for instance, do you see that patch of stars? over there, in the top left-hand corner of this window. Hmm, the sort of rough circle. We arranged that constellation in honour of a lonely boo that we once saw. Yes, those silly ghosts are often pranksters and can be quite dangerous. You should, of course, be wary of them, but this one, in particular, was different. This boo wanted to make friends, but alas, when you appear out of nowhere, people get rather startled, and of course, him and his brothers have a rather bad reputation, and so he remained lonely. Whenever he tried to make a new friend, they would scramble off, screaming. His little face was too much to bear. So, we made this constellation in his honour, and now the other stars around him may keep him company and be his friends. It is a metaphor, of course. We did not actually put the boo in the sky. We simply made a rough shape with some of the Lumas who wanted to transform, but it is nice to do something with them. It is a rather big responsibility, you know. We shape entire galaxies, control the cosmos. That power in the wrong hands could be devastating. But do not worry. It is purely my duty to protect and preserve. Hmm, now I am sure.
sure you know of this constellation, just there in the distance. You see the big clump of stars, and right next to it, the little clump of stars. That is the big penguin and the little penguin. Me and my Lumas created that after seeing Mario's adventures in a certain world. It was a very brave thing indeed to do. He picked up a little penguin crying for its mother and escorted it all the way down, facing many dangers and enemies on the way, all to reunite the baby chick with its very grateful mother. Indeed, we were touched to see their reunion, and so we wished to immortalize the moment in the stars. In fact, it reminds me somewhat of how me and the Loomis met. Originally, it was just me and one other. We met while trying to find our mothers, and travelled together for quite some time. Just when we were on the brink of both losing hope, the other Loomis came to us, and we formed a family of our own. I suppose those same feelings of relief and belonging made the story special for us. Hmm, what else is in this galaxy? We've been here for quite a while. I'm sure there was another that we made. Ah, oh, yes. Do you see that one over there? The clump of stars with the little line trailing after it. We once observed a chain shop, which, unlike all the others, worked out how it was being restrained, and used its large jaws to chew through its chain. Its mad rampage was truly something. It's a miracle that no one was hurt, but we admired its bravery and intelligence all the same. Why, it must be quite frustrating to be chained up to a pole all the time. No wonder they're so angry, don't you think? Well then, since you have decided to accompany us, I must welcome you into our little family. Oh, it is no bother. I have countless planets to look after, as well as all of my lovely children. What is one more on top of all? Besides, I have enjoyed talking to you. As charming as my little star friends are, they are not much for conversation. Well then, take a step back. The Comet Observatory is moving on to its next destination. This may feel a little strange, since I suppose you're not used to travelling by Comet. quality. 